This is another episode of Marriage Covenant 101. And I'm your co-host, Chadwick Cruz, and I'm with my... What you, what, what, come on, come on, who are you? Who am I? Have I met you before? Do I know you? Will anybody in the covers that really recognize this young lady here? Who are you? I am that I am. Oh, you trying to get next to God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Tamika Cruz, and I am going to be co-hosting tonight. I'm the co-host. You the, I'm co-hosting. You the host. I thought you was hosting. I'm co-hosting. I thought, okay, all right. So, when I talked with her, she told me that the Holy Spirit had given her a message for tonight. So, and I, I am hosting. I took the low road, and I stand, <laughs> I stand down. But now... <laughs> All of a sudden, things have changed. Well. No, we're going to get started. So um, we're just happy to be back on set. We've yes, been off are. for two weeks. Yeah. Um, due to the holiday and we're on vacation and all that kind of stuff. And weddings. And weddings. 50th anniversary uh, wedding. Yes, I forgot about that. My mom. So we've been longer than two weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we've been out like three weeks. I got the video. I got some coverage from that, though, but... but. I'm gonna let her do her little thing. So my parents, they um, reunited. Reunited. I mean, re recommitted themselves together. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had a 50th wedding vow renewal ceremony, and yes. it was beautiful. Phenomenal. My mom was so beautiful. Everybody was there. All her kids, all her grandkids. It was beautiful. So we have some clips to show of that. Do you um, want to start with that? Yeah, let's go on and start with that. I thought we were going to talk about the light that shines from the lighthouse, the beacon, the beacon. Um, let's see some clips. You have hey, some give me the clip.
to celebrate this milestone in God's plan for his creation. 50 years ago, Willie and Lavonia gave a life of love a chance. You both put the sacred vows of marriage into action. Trusting the Lord through faith, hope, love, we are here at this moment in time. Celebrating you, Pastor Willis C. Burris, and you, Sister Lavonia Burris. Throughout the years, the two of you kept walking hand in hand, which brought you to this place in time that only a few will understand. It takes the grace of God to build a true love that endures the many trials of life. This love that you both share is a special love, a rare love, a love that will last a lifetime. As you reach this milestone, I speak for all when I say, we pray that God gives you the very best in the years to come. Today we celebrate 50 years of love through prayer, Blessings, truth, humility, hope, faithfulness, overcoming, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, togetherness, and forgiveness. Knowing that when we stumble, deciding how to fall, quickly getting back up again, and starting over. When the sea and the bone, you were joined together 50 years ago. At that time, you didn't know God's plan or direction for your lives. But today, you have found yourself here commemorating your 50th year of union. Even though I already know the answer to this question, it's a must that I ask. Do you both wish to renew the marriage vows that you made over 50 years ago? Willie C, do you reaffirm your love for the bond? Will you continue to love, honor, and cherish Lavonia in sickness and in health as long as you both live? Lavonia, do you reaffirm your love for Willie Will you continue to love, honor, and cherish Willie in sickness and in health as long as you both live? On your wedding day 50 years ago, you both exchanged rings. Those rings symbolize your continued love and commitment to one another. And that still holds strong to the day. Can I please have the rings? Witnessing. Place the ring on Lavonia's third finger on her left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, I renew our marriage vows. I promise a continued love and commitment. Place the ring on Willis C's third finger on his left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, I renew our marriage vows and promise my continued love and commitment. Makes life so 
It is my pleasure to announce that this concludes Pastor Willie C. and the Longenberg's wedding vow renewal ceremony. I hope that they have enjoyed the last past 50 years and will continue to enjoy many more fruitful years of marriage. So at this time, you may once again kiss your wife. <laughs>
couldn't have asked anything better to be a part of a better family, man. I, I'm talking about like the whole day had me at all, but the example they set, you know, it's it goes it goes without saying, you know. If you want to meet some good people, the birds. My parents. You need to meet them. I'm telling you. Like uh, I like my I listened to what my brother-in-law said on the video he sent. He said, you know, a lot of people talk about their in-laws. I have no complaints. Genuine people, good-hearted people. If they ain't got nothing good to say, they ain't saying nothing. Good people. I love them. And we are so thankful to share that special time with my parents. Yeah. Because marriage, of, of course, this is Marriage Covenant 101. Marriage is the backbone of the family, of the foundation. Yeah. Um, and if, if, if you're not there, what can you say? You know, we lead by example. We yeah. need people to stand up and practice what they're preaching. And there are people, there are young people, there are people who are trying to get married. They need an example. They yes, need to know yes. the foundation that it's God first, it's family second, and then, you know, everything else falls in line. Yes. But if we don't have that foundation, what example do we have to other people? Mm, we don't. So, and, and the main thing that people are going to be following is that light. If you have the light inside of you, that's like when I see my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, besides seeing them as individuals, I see the light. When I see my parents, I see the light. I see a lot of people, they light go dim, and it, then it blind and go dim and illuminate. But when you keep that light burning, you burning it all 24 7. People know the tree by the, by fruit, the fruit it, it bears. bears. Come on with the light. So, <clears throat> so um, this morning, like I said, we I always get up, um, I set my alarm for 4 45 to get up so I can pray and have my intimate time with the Lord. And um, my husband said something to me that was kind of very, it, it made me open my eyes a little bit um, because when I get up to pray, I always go, I have an altar that I pray um, because, you know, I want the Lord, the spirit of the Lord to meet me there and be able to, you know, talk to me and reveal things to me there. So I, I meet there in that room. And, and so one day I told him, you know, this is my altar, whatever. And he was like, well, you don't, invite me to pray you know <laughs> we don't pray together and I was like you know what you're right so what I do now is when it's that time for us to get up and pray I make sure that we you know grab hands we touch and agree sometimes I have to say baby come on get up wake up wake up come on let's pray <laughs> and we touch and agree on some things and so we were on vacation last weekend um last Wednesday through Sunday um in Sandestin and what, Thursday morning we got up to pray. The Spirit of the Lord was in our in in our um room where we were. Um, so it it was just so heavy. Yeah, I yeah. did not even want to get out the presence of the Lord. Um, we were scheduled to go shopping, but I was just like, Lord, I can just stay here because the presence of Him was on us so heavy. heavy. It was heavy. So, and the Word of God says, two or three gathered together. In his name, he's in the midst. He was in the midst of us right there. It was, it was three of us in the room, but me and my husband, we was touching a grin on some things. We still believe in the Lord to move mightily on our behalf. And we're not going to stop. We're not going to give in. I don't care what we see, what we hear, what we feel, because those are all things contrary to the word of God. We have to stand on the word of God. So as saying that, I was in a car yesterday and I drive, I commute back and forth to both centers each day. And on my way to location two, I heard the spirit of the Lord so vividly. And I mean, it just hit the bottom of my belly. He said, who do you say I am? Hmm. So that thing is personal. Yeah. You know, we can say, you know, well, my husband said that God is a healer for him. God healed him. Or my friend said that he's a provider for her because he did this and he did that. But this thing is personal. Yeah. Who do I say that the Lord oh, yeah. is? Yeah. And you cannot speak on that if you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord. If he has not come through for you, there's nothing that you can say. You have, Glory. have to have Glory. an experience with the Lord Hallelujah. to know who he is. Hallelujah. That's just like somebody coming in the room and 
my husband may know him. Oh, you who that? Oh, that's such such. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't know him. You know, right. he may know him on that level. I got to get to know him. I got to introduce myself to God and say, hey, Lord, I'm, I'm your daughter which he already know, but I'm your daughter, Lord. I am Tamika Burke's cruise, Lord, and I'm standing in the need of a miracle, God. And once I build that intimate relationship with the Lord, then I can tell other people who God is to me. I say the Lord is my deliverer. I say the Lord is my healer. I say the Lord is my provider. But who do you say the Lord is? Mm. God says in his word, and he said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thus says thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me. He was telling Moses to tell the children of Israel. They wanted to know who, who, who is this man? And Moses wanted to ask God, who, who are you, God? What do I tell the, the children of Israel who you I'm are? And he said, tell them I am mm. that I am. Yeah. So God is whatever you need him to be. Yes, yeah. so he, he changes. Whatever, he, he, he changes not. Yeah. He's your provider, he's your healer, he's your protector, he's your whatever doctor, you he's a lawyer, he's your, your mother, friend. he's your father. Whatever yeah, you yeah, need yeah, the yeah. Lord to be, he is that. Yes. I need him to be a deliverer. Yeah. And I know he's able to do it because he asked me, who do I say he is? Yeah. And we got to believe it in our hearts. Hallelujah. No matter what we see, no matter what we hear, no matter what circumstance the enemy shows us, we got to know we got to have this vision just like this to keep our eyes on the Lord. Yeah. We can't look to the left. We can't look to the right. But we're going to have to stay focused on that light. Hallelujah. 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 Wedding bells will be ringing on December the 10th. Play that video. When I found you, I found somebody who cares. When I found you, found my most intimate prayer. When I found you, found you. So heavy for my son. Bible tell a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. I promise you, since he have made this commitment, God is overflowing in his life. I see such change in such direction, and um, he makes me proud to be his father. Yes, he makes me proud to be the forerunner of my family, meaning that I walk ahead of my family, paving the way. 
Then after I paved the way, then I walked behind them, making sure they headed the right direction. He make me happy to push like I do. But, hey, I want to know about this light. Because <laughs> this light is, and I know that's mom's babe. Um, that's she, baby Bobby and all that. You know, her baby. And so she's going to feel some kind of, kind of way. She might can't even get back into the message. I might have to take the message up. And go, she was like, oh, I'm finna cry. <laughs> she didn't know I had that video. I'm finna cry. I watched that video a thousand, thousand times. times. A thousand times. Um, I love all of my kids. Every last one of them. Jacoby, Jamari, Jordan, they are my world. Everything. Yeah. I love them. To, they don't even know how much I love them. And I'm so proud of all of them. Um, we still believe in God to push them into that place yeah, where he has called them. Yeah. them to be yes. and I don't care what it's looking like I, I don't even care I know that God is able because he asked me who do I say he is and I know that you are a deliverer God I know you are a sustainer you're a provider you everything that we need so this morning again as my eyes open for prayer and I just begin to sing um sing a song baby what? the lighthouse let the light shine. Shine on me. Shine on me. Okay. That's what you were saying? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Shine. Yeah. On me. Shine. On me. I wonder. That's what I would miss. If the light would shine on me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so that song, when I got up to pray, I just immediately started singing that song. So I was like, Lord, what are you saying? Light from the lighthouse, shine on me. The light at the top of the tower represents everything. Yeah. God's light is everything, all knowledge, everything that we need. Can I say one thing right there? Can yes. Can I right there? Yeah. So the light from the lighthouse, when I think of it, it represents direction. Mm -hmm. Because if it's at the top of the lighthouse, it gives the ship that's out there at sea, tossed and driven, might not know which way to go. It becomes a beacon of hope, beacon of direction. Come my way. It seems what it's saying is, come here, come here, come here. He's saying that light is shining to lead the way, yes. to show us the path. Mm -hmm. Because we could be, our path can be dark. The enemy may have blinded our path. But mm -hmm. if we ask the Lord to shine his light from the lighthouse for us or on us, and then it's going to illuminate. And we're going to know exactly what we need to be doing and exactly how we need to go. Yes. God is light. And 1 John 1, 5 says that God is the father of light. James 1.17 says that he dwells in unapproachable light. So when that when it's dark, God's going to come. He's going to shine his light. 1 Timothy 6 and 16 says that he wraps himself in light at, as with the robe. God is everything. His light is going to shine. If we ask the Lord to shine his light in this dark world, in this evil time, he's going to shine his light and he's going to lead us and guide us um, where we need to go. Mm -hmm. Psalms 104 and 1 says, God is the son of righteousness. We have to look to the Lord as the light of the world so that we can be radiant. We got to ask the Lord mm. to shine his light on Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. So that when people see us, they see, see something, him. they see some glory, they see just the illumination of the Father leading and guiding us. That's what I tell the Lord every day. I said, Lord, let your light shine, Lord. When people see me, Lord, let them see you, God. Let them feel your presence, God. I just don't want to be existing, God. I want to have your glory, God. Hallelujah. There's a price that we have to pay for the glory of God. Yes. You just cannot get, you just, you're just not going to be able to just go pick up the glory of God. You're going to have to labor. 
You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to intercede. You're going to have to warfare. You got to read the word. You got to get clarity from the Lord. You got to ask the Lord to give you revelations so that that glory, that's the only way that you're going to be able to carry the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got something you need to say, Larry? I'm with you, baby. I'm on with it. <laughs> so when I was talking about who do we, who do I believe the Lord is, or who do I say the Lord is, I say the Lord is my provider. Mm -hmm. But who do you say he is? Yeah. God says in his word, you know, he sent, um, he sent his word for us. He tells us clearly in his word who he is. Who do you say God is? Mm. Who do you say God is? Everything. How do you know who God is? Because he's been exactly that. Everything. When I needed him in prayer. He's been I your deliverer. Through. Yes. And beyond that, not only have we been the deliverer for me, I have went to him in prayer on behalf of other people. And, and he, he delivered. Amen. So I was like, he not only is he my deliverer, he's a mighty yes. deliverer. So he says, I am the source of living water. Yeah. We can access the life found in the atoning blood of Christ yeah. as we follow prophets who have Hallelujah. been given keys to bring forth living water for him. Yeah. He says, I am your healer. Yeah. Jesus Christ does not always take away our trials, but as our healer, he can take the poison out of them through the blessing of atonement. Hallelujah. He says, I am the lamb slain for mm. you. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus Christ is truly the Lamb of God who was sanctified for yeah. us so that we no longer have to be subject to the effects of sin and death. Mm. He said, I am the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Yeah. He came down to earth from heaven to bring us life Hallelujah. every day of our mortal journey. Yeah. As we gather in his words every day, we will experience the sweetness and vitality available through him throughout our journey. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. At this time, we're going to pay some bills to our excellent sponsor. Pay some bills. We have J3 Rental Enterprises. For your property management and rental needs, email J3 Rental Enterprises LLC at gmail.com. Good job, baby. Thank you, baby. Imperial Painting and Design Company. For more information, contact Mr. Jacoby Cruz and Kaya Sane Cruz at 334-733. We just practicing 0894. And we got Mr. G. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Food <laughs> trailer. It's located right now when it's mobile. It's at, I mean, when it's sitting, it's at 4249 West County Road 72 in Ayrton, Alabama, 36311. Hey, if you want to make an order, or an order to go, or you need Mr. G to come to you, set up in your parking lot of your place, give him a call at 334 596 6671. Mr. G's food trailer. Um, J3 100, the barber. J3 100? J Cruz, I'm sorry. Oh, you know I'm, I'm sorry. Call you if you mess up, not J hey. Cruz, the barber. This is Jamari Cruz, our second born son. Yeah. He works at, he is co. What is he? He's co. co he, he's, a, he's a trio owner of Cruz Barbershop and more. He is located at 1110 Andrews Avenue. Ozark, Alabama, 36360. If you need appointments, please call him at 334-400-6270. He has inherited, he's going to inherit this business in a little while. He's going to be able to take over. This is his business. So he's doing big things too. <laughs> and then we got Caitlin Johnson, the makeup artist that's making movie stars out of ordinary people. Hey, if you need a, to prepare yourself for a wedding, like the wedding that we just showed you, Caitlin did all of the makeup. Oh, there. thank you, Caitlin. Beat everybody's face. Beat them all up with rights and lefts and hooks and punches. But give her a call at 334-405-3428. Or you can contact her at Caitlin Johnson on Facebook. 
We have Platinum Motors. This is a, a Platinum Motors family. Would like to encourage everyone to go out and get your COVID-19 vaccination. They want us to stay well and stay safe. This is uh, Mr. Tracy Lee and Jennifer McLeod of Platinum Motors in Ozark, Alabama. Then we have 21st Century Gateway Realty of Ozark, um, Representative Mr. Gene E. Casey. If you're in the market for some land, um, rental property, or you want to buy some real estate, anything that you're looking for, give Gene a call at 334-379-9048, or you can send him an email at gene.casey at troycable.net or you can look them up on the web at www.sellingozark.com That's it. Mr. Gene E. Casey at 21st Century Gateway Realty, Ozark, Alabama. And then we have Bishops Framing and Trophies. This is Mikhail and Danny Bishop at 141 East Broad Street, Ozark, Alabama, 36360. And then we have Bright Futures Children's Center, LLC, location one, where we're letting our lights shine. If you're looking for some great child care providers, that better be Jesus calling you. <laughs> At all, you're looking for a job, you're looking for a job yes. in the um, child care field, Give Miss Cruz a call at 334-774-3003. Bright Future Children's Center. Um, then we have Miss Ursula S. Wilson, my bestie. As a diabetes educator, mm -hmm. you give her a call. Um, she has a mobile nurse um, also. She can meet you and give you a physical, CB skin test, check your blood pressure, your levels, sugar, diabetes levels, and all that kind of stuff. Um, she's very educated. She's very thorough. She knows what she's doing. She knows her stuff. She give her a call, 334-798-9077, or email uwilson425 at gmail.com. Yes. Then we have Tina Atkins, sale consultant at Gillen Ford. If you're in the market for a new or used Ford, give Tina a call. Or if you're looking for another call, you can, you know, tell them what they have trade in. But give Tina a call at 334-379-0672 or call Tina at the business phone at 334-443-1000. You'll never be, meet a better salesperson than Tina. Give her a call. Bright Futures Children Center 2, um, we are hiring and we are over flooding Overflowing, overflowing. I said over oh, flooding. Yeah. You said it. I <laughs> overflowing you with kids. We need some qualified workers. We um, uh, offer top pay in the city of Ozark. Number six time you messed up today. I'm oh, um, so give me a call. 334-443-0497. Bright Future. Then we have the group True Praise with the hit single, I Believe. You can download it on iTunes, Google Play Music, CD Baby, and other platforms. Listen, if you need True Praise to come to your gospel event, give them a call at 334-303-5178. True Praise with the hit single, I Believe. Oh. Oh. Then we have Thornton Remodeling and Construction. This is Crystal and Jermaine Thornton at 334-723-6425 or 334-655-6196. Then we have Accelerated Innovation Community Development Corporation, where we're building one community at a time. If you're looking for some new things to come to your community or you just want to talk to some people about getting grants or whatever for your community, give us a call. Oh, no, don't call us. Which you can call us at my phone, 334 733-0615, but I would prefer you email us at Accelerated Innovation CDC2021 at gmail.com. Um, we have Beyond Fundamentals Basketball Training LLC. Um, Mr. Uh, Roy Daniels is the CEO of this. You're learning the game the professional's way. Give him a call at 334-303-5178. 
And then we have finish line tires. If you're in the market for a new or used tire, call the great folks of finish line tires and let them get you back rolling. Call 334-774-7744. Finish line tires. We have solutions when impressions count, count on solutions. Mr. Tom Littleton can do signs, LED signs, printing, banners, promotionals, t-shirts, and much more. Give him a call at 334-774-0408. Flash my canvas. Well, we have balloon bar and balloons for all occasions. If you're interested in painting or dip, Anything that you need from Flash My Canvas, call them at 334-237-0052 or email us at flashmycanvas1 at gmail.com. Flash. We have Galilee Baptist Church in um, Comer, Alabama. Uh, I mean, Midway, Alabama. Um, so we have Pastor Burks um, is the um, um, pastor. And then we have Chadwick Cruz as the associate pastor. They meet on first and third Sunday. Sunday school starts at 11 and worship services at 12 noon. Come worship with us. Then we have Primerica and a representative, Miss Ursula S. Wilson. If you're in the market for a Roth uh, uh, IRA, Roth IRA, insurance, life, health, any kind of insurance. Um, anything you need concerning financial advice, call Ursula S. Wilson at 334-798-9077 or you can call 334-887-1155. Primerica Representative Ursula S. Wilson. Roofing and Restoration, this is Forbes Consultant. Um, you can reach them by email at Forbes uh, Roofing and Restoration.com. Then we have the Soul Man Shouty. He's at Kennedy's Unique Savings, and they're located at 102 South Main Street, Brandon, Alabama. If you're looking for sea moss, if you're looking for detergent, five gallon buckets of detergent, five gallon buckets of Clorox, five gallon buckets of Tide, gain, all of that stuff. Give them a call at Kennedy's Unique Savings at 334-268-2149. I heard they have clothes for females. I heard they have kitchen, groceries, all kind of stuff. Hats, clothes for men. Kennedy's Unique Savings, the one-stop shop. Brundage, Alabama. Um, we have Mr. Trey Avant at State Forum. He has better rates, better best value. Give him a call, 334-774-2557. Like a good neighbor, Trey, right there. <laughs> Here we have yours truly, Cruise Barbershop, a cut above the rest. Thanks for your continued support. Listen, inquire about the $20 plus haircut for the skip line fee, and then appointments are $5 extra. We have a 10% senior citizens discount and 10% military discount. Come see us, Cruise Barbershop, 1110 Andrews Avenue, Ozark, Alabama. Then we have Pray Under Pressure Collection, which is available now. This is a new clothing line from Soul Color. And if you're looking for the Pray Under Pressure clothing line, y'all seen me with it on a couple of episodes back ago. And I wear my hoodie all the time. He got some nice stuff. You can... Order this at www.soulcolors.com or you can order it at Poshmark or you can order it at um, Instagram. You can place orders on Instagram too. But it's Soul Colors with the new fashion label Prey Under Pressure Collection, which is available now. And I was telling the guy, he asked me about it the other day. He said, that's Prey Under Pressure. He said, um, well... What about praying when it ain't no pressure? I said, well, if you pray all the time, you might don't ever have to pray under pressure. But, hey, get that. 
Thank you to our supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Continue to support. Thank you. We appreciate you. So this has been um. You have some ads. Yeah. Oh. Play that nice video. If it was not for the Lord on my side, where would I be? I am Willie Eugene Marshall. Uh, presided, the proud presiding elder of the Ozark Troy district. And again, I bring myself for service as a bishop in the church. Let me say to Alabama, thank you. Thank you so, so much for all of your support uh, when we were in Orlando for General Conference 2021. Thank you so, so, so much. I think it was the R&B uh, group who once said um, the second time around is better than the first time. So this being our second time, <clears throat> I bring to the table 34 years of pastoral service and now almost two years as a presiding elder. Uh, my battle cry theme is it matters with Marshall. So what matters? First of all, God matters. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We can't do nothing without God. Greater is he that is in us that is in the world. So God matters. Secondly, the church matters. Yes, the church matters. It, 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 it matters who make crucial decisions for our church. It matters what our church will look like. In the next three to five to 15 years or more, the church matters. And then the people matter. When Jesus was dialoguing and having kingdom talk conversation with Peter, he said, upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He wasn't talking about a building. He was talking about the people. It matters how the people feel. It matters what the people think. It matters when people are hurting from the pulpit to the pews. It matters because people matter. True story, true story. Uh, our bishop, um, th that's a 73-year-old man, he's 75 now, who came to me because he could trust me. He, he came to me and he, he shared with me that, that he, had, he, he had to drop out of high school, had to drop out of school and in the sixth grade. And his goal in life was to learn how to read and write before he leave this earth. Do you not know that God directed us with the right people? Now this brother is pushing his way. Uh, COVID held him up some, but he's pushing his way and he's determined. To, to earn his GED because people matter. What does the Lord require of us? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. When we get to Cincinnati, Ohio, in 2024, Alabama, I need you. I need you, Alabama along with others i need you because i'm convinced i'm convinced i'm convinced of the words of civility martin be not dismayed whatever the time god will yes he will take care of you thank you bishop for this opportunity to share god bless you blessings god bless you thank you so much bishop For the second day in a row, my wife is back at the cookie crumble shop. So I just want to show everybody this video. Watch it. So I'm going to say this cookie crumble. Who eats sweet? I mean, I know it looks like brownie. It looks like chocolate ice cream. I just can't. Okay, no. Because I'd have to buy it. Is this four chocolate chips? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. None of the rice cookies? I just want that.
So what you running away for? Since you recording everybody. Yeah, while you recording. You in, in Crumble too, Tamika. Yeah, you in Crumble too. So what you record? No, we gonna see. No, we gonna see. Yes. Yes, up. This your, your cookies are ready. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Oh, yes. Thank you. You want what? What do you want? Nothing. <laughs> what do you want? How much is how much is this stuff? It's gonna be fourteen sixty. Uh huh. <laughs> From the cookie store to the candy house. <laughs> From the cookie store to the candy house. Volume one. <laughs> From the cookie store to the candy high, volume one. From the cookie store to the candy high, to be continued. Hanging with my friends, we don't do nothing but eat snacks and get fat. When I'm with my friends, to the candy store. To the candy store. No, Boom, eat snacks. The snack people. She love it, y'all. <laughs> she love it. We all day. I can't wait to show the doctor this. He's a, he's a for Raylan. <laughs> he said, what you giving me for? I didn't give him. I want him to get on somewhere. <laughs> oh my God, like the paparazzi's or something. I'm going to tell the Everywhere doctor. Everywhere we go. <laughs> I'm we tell recorded the and, we, and he was eating more than I was even eating. Come on with it, doctor. You were. Come on, tell the truth. You were. The Lord, listen. You were. I'm going to tell the doctor when we go to our doctor's appointment, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to say, she can't stay out there. You no had store. ice cream candy and high. everything. You in the candy house, you in the cookie store, you sneaking around, eating. You probably got a pocket full of candy right now. Uh, if you would have saw our room and all that junk he had in there, I could have got him. That I had. So we got a trip coming up for our son's wedding in a week, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what he's gonna do then. We're Let going to see. Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee. We'll see. Let me. We'll see. Your, your mic's about to fall out. Mic but, check. But we on it. We on set now. I know that. <laughs> so, but we did. We went um to Destin with our. Family. Family, and we had a great time. Oh my on God! Thanksgiving, we had a good time, just laughing and ah oh man, singing and praising the Lord and watching. Then we turn around and we watch the football game, and my roll tie done it to turn the cow like into a four. All that happened down there when we was in Destin. San Destin. San Destin. Had a good time. And we sung and we prayed the Lord and my little cousin them sung some great songs. Hey, just play that next video.
Thank you, God. Yes, Jesus. Awesome. I give you more. I now, know. I was off out of key, and I was actually holding the phone. My family can sing so good, and they sound so good together. But the spirit just wouldn't let me keep my mouth closed. So just the, the voice that you hear that's off, that's me. <laughs> now, the one that you hear leading that song, that's my cousin Celeste. She need a she need a big deal. time singing <laughs> deal, big contract. And the family, they come in and they sit, they blend right in. I'm talking about so anointed, and that and that is part of the group. True praise. I'm talking about if you want to hear somebody sing under the anointing, like they don't sing for show. They don't do it for show. They do it to glorify the kingdom. That was awesome. And Oof. To touch the people, touch the soul. Like, I could feel chills, goosebumps when I was listening to it. And then when they sung, oh, the other song, oh, man. They sung um, Spirit. Oh, man. Oh, man. But listen. Fall fresh on me. It we was... can't take up Woo. all night telling y'all about our great experience. And, of course, our friends forever. Vicky and McCarty. Vicky and Ben. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ben and Our aces. <laughs> I, them, them my two aces. Except for, I'm a, ex, uh, except for, I like to say it, but say it. I didn't understand that. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> except for my friend Vicky. I want to call her Victoria because <laughs> she, she tells, tells me <laughs> everything I do. So I'm going to end up in the show with this. So, um, my other cousin, her daughter, um, work at the center. So I go by the center and talking and everything. She got a big tub full of candy. She giving the kids, you know, for being good prizes, I guess. And, and I asked her, I said, can I have a couple pieces of that? She said, yes. Yeah. So I get a couple pieces of candy, not thinking that, you know, and I got the You healthy. were setting yourself up I got for the failure. Healthy. You didn't I got know. the healthy candy. Uh uh-huh. uh. He didn't know candy. he was setting himself and up got for the failure. Candy, so she go home. Now, she worked with my wife. She didn't tell on me. To my wife. She go home and tell my wife's number one associate, part in farmer. <laughs> <laughs> tell her, yes, um, your husband Chad got candy. She said, I don't know if Tamika knows that Chad be eating candy. candy. So Vicky got now. This how she did it. Now she didn't. She didn't do it behind my back. To genuine friends, I put y'all on blast in your face. They ain't gonna do it behind your back. She said, um, "Tamika, have Chad told you he be out in the classroom in the classroom eating candy?" <laughs> I'm like, girl, that ain't none of her business. Why are you telling these things? Put me on blast. And I say, that's the second time 
You and your husband supposed to be my best friend. Don't rat you out. My heart beat done lied on me. <laughs> they ain't lied on you. <laughs> I, I take it back. I was a tad bit guilty, but but um, I didn't want my business on the street. They put my business out there. <laughs> we was up in Tennessee. So they parked the van. I get out the van. I'm going to go in there and get me a little bit of candy. So the, the man in the candy store, now I ain't look behind me and see my cousin Vic Carter. He done followed me in there. I didn't even know he had. By, by the way, he had gone 21 days with no sweets, okay? And I couldn't take it no more. <laughs> and I went in there and I told the man, I said, look, man, I need some of that white chocolate right there with them peanuts in it. He said, okay, how many pieces do you want? I said, well, just give me one right now. So he get out the paper. I said, no, put it in my hand. I don't want no evidence. Put it in my hand. He said, man, I can't put it in your hand. I said, it was man. COVID. It was the heart of COVID. But I told him, I don't got, I don't have COVID. He said, well, no, because I put it in your hand. You go off and get, act like you got COVID from him. He said, we can't do it. Can't put it in your hand. So he gave it to me. I don't know if I ate the paper or what I did with the paper. I think I <laughs> threw the paper in the garbage real quick. But my cousin Vic Carter, he seen me. He said, what you doing? I said, oh, <laughs> what you doing in here? <laughs> what you doing in here? I'm like, I thought I got away from everybody. <laughs> so we go back and be the, careful. Your sins. I'll follow you. <laughs> your sin, you will find you out. They baby. gonna find you out, baby. So I go in the store, in, in the Nike store, my, where my wife was at. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing the crumb, probably went around my mouth. I'm wiping up, you know, making sure you know, I don't leave any traces of evidence. And he come in the door of the Nike store. Tamika, Chad eating candy. He was in the candy <laughs> store. And I'm looking at him like, boy, why are you telling? <laughs> Ain't nobody asking you these questions? But yeah, oh I love him still. We I love y'all. We love y'all. Well, y'all are so dear to our heart. Yeah. True friends, family. Yeah, true friends. We love y'all. In and in prayer. Okay, Lord, we just thank you, God. We thank you for we thank you for our viewers. We thank you for our supporters. Yes, we just, we just you. thank you, Lord, for being the foundation of marriage covenant one-on-one. Yes, God. Lord, I ask you to lead us lead and us. guide us, God. We ask that yes. your light from the lighthouse, Lord, shine, shine on God. us, oh God. We ask you to shine illuminate our us. path, oh God. Shine Let people, us. when they see us, Lord, yes. they experience the glory of God, Lord. Hallelujah. They feel your presence, oh God, and they want what we, they ha we see, they see, Lord. I thank you right now, God, for just continuing, Lord, to be a deliverer thank you, for Lord. us, oh God. We yeah. thank you, Lord, that there is not anything too hard for you, God. You said there is nothing too hard for you, Lord. Yes, there is no case that you cannot solve, oh God. There is nothing that you can't do, Lord, yes, if we believe, oh God. Oh, I ask you to take our belief, Lord, thank to you, another God. level, oh God. Push us, oh God, into that yes, place, Lord. That we only trust you and what your word says, oh God. Thank you. Lord, I thank you for blessing marriage covenant, oh God. Yes, I thank God. you for giving us what we need in this end time, Lord. Yes. We give you praise. Yes. We give you honor. We give you Amen. glory, oh God. Until we meet again, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank marriage you. Covenant 101. Goodbye. Good night.